What's up guys, in this problem what I want to do is show you how to factor by the GCF, then the difference of two squares. All right, on a problem like this, uh, if I said to like, let's go and factor this, a lot of students would might be a little dumbfounded. They'd be like, ah, this doesn't look like the typical factoring problem that we are typically doing, right? And so what most students are gonna wanna do is expand this out. They say, all right, well, I know I can multiply out, so why don't I just go and multiply it out, and then maybe I'll just try to figure out what the factoring is gonna be. And while that's not like a completely wrong, um, you know, way of thinking, I also want you to think about like mathematically, what are some like maybe shortcuts, right? What are some maybe ways I can get around multiplying this? Because even though that's not a crazy operation, um, it, you know, it's, it could cause a, lot, a little bit more extra work. So the one thing I recognize here is I don't really want to multiply that. That's going to be more work, right? I want to see, is there anything else I can do that's going to make this problem actually easy? And one thing I recognize or I see here is these having negative nine in common. Right? I can factor out that negative nine, right? That's factoring out the GCF. So why don't we just go ahead and factor that out and kind of see if that helps us out at all, right? So now you can see by actually factoring this out, I now have two terms that are actually the same, right? I, or two expressions, I'm sorry, that are the same. I have the x plus four and the x plus four. So if you remember by factoring out the GCF, what you were doing, or if we go back to like this original problem, what did we do? they both share a negative nine, right? Because negative nine could evenly divide into those two terms. So I factored out the negative nine, right? And then I wrote it out here as a multiplication. Now you might be able to see, it's like, all right, well, what do these two share in common, right? They're separated by a subtraction, so we can factor out any common term. And hopefully you recognize that they both share this x minus four. So therefore I'm gonna write that on the outside. And again, just like what we did, when I divided this negative, when I divided out the negative four, what we did is we wrote whatever was in the inside was what was left over. Like negative nine, yeah, negative nine divided by into negative uh, nine x just left me with an x. Negative nine divided into a negative 36 gave me a positive four. Well, what's gonna be left over here when I factor this out? In this case, what's gonna be left over is going to be a quantity x plus four squared and then minus nine. The reason why I introduced brackets as well as parentheses because I had this parentheses, right? This x minus four is multiplied by both of those terms, right? So this is a quantity x plus four squared and then minus nine. And hopefully you recognize whenever you have something squared minus something else squared, I want you to think difference of two squares. Anything in factoring, you just, we gotta know that, right? We, we have to make sure this is ingrained in us. So I recognize nine to be a square number. And I see this x plus four squared. So that's why I mean to said, square minus square, difference of two squares. So here's the kind of like the challenge here. Can I rewrite this? Can I further break this down using the difference of two squares? And the answer is, of course you can. Okay, so again, just look at this, see exactly what I did. Now, again, I use like two brackets here to separate those. You could use parentheses, but sometimes like when we're doing double parentheses, it can just be confusing for students. So I add the x plus four quantity squared, you know, it's x plus four times x plus four, and then the minus three, that's gonna be minus b and plus b. So that's why I have the negative three and positive three, right? Because negative three times positive three is gonna give me a negative nine. Now, in this example here, the only thing left else that I can now do is simplify these, right? I don't really need parentheses anymore. I just did that so you could see the grouping. Now I can just take four minus three and a four plus three to go ahead and write my final answer. Now this one was all set up for factoring, but in the next video, I'll go over an example where it is not set up. I'll see you in the next video.